t-shirts and uh, jackets, $2. Uh, you got to love that. Um... <laughs> He's already stopping for a bloody coffee. Look at this fucking prick. Already has to stop for a coffee. Only an hour. Mate, it's a bit early to fucking stop already and get coffee, mate. <laughs> fucking hell. It's my brain juice, man. I need it. Hope that fucking coffee was worth wasting 20 minutes of our time, mate. We'll make it up, mate. Don't you worry. So here we are at Dunsborough and the first op shop. This was a uh, nice church one. We had some uh, nice toys here, some uh, old clothes for two, three dollars for jackets and shirts and the toys were cheap, board games were cheap, books were cheap. Uh, it was kind of a lot of stuff didn't have prices on it. Like uh, look at this, t-shirts and uh, jackets, two dollars. Uh, you gotta love that. Um, but to find something gold, you got to dig. Uh, as me and Frankie did, we dug and we dug deep, and we did find some good stuff in here. Uh, as you see, Frankie's already dug through these shirts before I got there, so little prick got there before me. But uh, I, I ended up figuring out his routine by the end of the day, and he was sections to go to before him by the end of the day. So that was all right. It was cash only as well, so. Um, Luckily, uh, we did stop for coffee, and uh, well, Frankie got coffee, and we uh, got some cash out. The books are alright. I found these games. This was a fake NBA Jam, unfortunately, and then there was a lot of barley games down here. Uh, sucks when you find a whole heap of barley games. So I did get to the games first before Frankie and the books, but um, I love Jesus hat. Uh, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, it was all barley stuff. On the brink, would you have brought this? So I was tempted, but it looked a mess inside when I did have a good look. Uh, it was only a couple of bucks. Didn't look up any comps. Looks like an old Australian game. Didn't even see really what year it was, but uh, I left that on the brink. Uh, we went to the next one, the St. George uh, Op Shop. Frankie trying to get a head start and uh, let him know you're going the wrong way, buddy. Uh, but um, this one was actually closed. Uh, this one was closed, the uh, St. George Anglican Op Shop, uh, and me and Frankie went the back way. Now, we thought this was the entrance. Uh, we thought this was the entrance, and we started picking through this hallway here, and apparently this was their storage area, and they came and told us, uh, we're closed, you cannot pick here, even though we just found a whole heap of PS PSP games. So she led us through the back. She said, you know what, boys? Here's a top blokes. You traveled three hours here, come on through boys, and you can have this whole thrift store to yourself. To yourself. I said, thank you very much, lady. We will take that. And off we went thrifting, and I went straight to an area where I know Frankie wants to go first, so Frankie's too busy talking to that lady, and bang, straight away I go over to the clothes. 
And I find a Hawthorne jacket, Frankie. Who found that first, Frankie? So we start going through all this stuff. There was some good stuff here. Like I said, I quickly went to the jumpers this time first before him and uh, figured out your routine. And it's winter time. We want to get jackets and jumpers. And this is a nice jacket. Nice jacket. Get 50 bucks for that one. And Frankie had already, uh, Frankie had already gone through this store and um, I found this back door. I found this back door. It was all dark in there. Toys, shoes. Did I care? No, I didn't care. I had a little look. I had a little look through. I didn't care if this door was meant to be closed or not. Did I find anything? No, I wasted a little bit of time, but that was all right. But the lady, uh, there's Frankie uh, getting some books. Uh, it was cash only. Frankie uh, kind of made his own kind of deal, and uh, the lady was adamant that he owes me ten dollars. What notes do you got on you? Negative ten. Negative two. Maybe twenty even. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to give him two. That's yeah, right. That's right. You sure. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> feel. How do you feel? Ripping off fucking churches. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the next store, and this is the last one that we went in Dunsborough because there was only four stores there. Um, this is actually our third one, but uh, the whole heap of jackets, they wanted a lot for the jackets. Like I said, there was going to be heaps of surfboards and uh, wetsuits, and there was. Uh, cruising this uh, down, uh, th this was cool, but uh, I didn't know what it was, so I left it. Uh, like I said, a lot of surfboards. This Vinny sucked. This Vinny's really, really sucked. I did not like it at all. And um, out of the four stores, we only got to go to three of them down there after a three hour drive as well. Ah, look, is that Judders? Diary of a Flipper. Hey, Coco. I should have brought it for you. It's a, co it's a Coco tub. G'day, Coco. Uh, so the toys were average. Everything in this store was average. Um, I think we did our best pickups from the uh, first two stores which we will show you. Um, and it is just, I, I had to get the hell out of there. I had to get the hell out of there. I hated it here in this third store and I left Frankie in there by himself and I went to the bottle shop next door and I got some Margaret River wines. Alrighty, are you happy with the Dunsborough load that you got? Yeah, so far I reckon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I think we'll do a bit of a show and tell and show everyone what you got. Fines. So you got some bread and butter stuff. Bread and butter stuff, just general clothes and shirts and things. Gold Coast Suns jumper. GWS Giants. Sorry, yes. <laughs> Footy Guernsey. Yeah, it's a nice local one. A couple of t-shirts. Uh, this was Vans jumper. Yeah, it's good. It's a Hawaiian style shirt. This might be for the brother-in-law, just a Rodriguez uh, tour shirt. Oh yeah. An old Billabong jumper. Yep. But, um, pretty happy to find this, so we managed to get into the other op shop. That was closed, and we yes. managed to talk our way in. And uh, just as they were telling us to get out, I managed to sniff through this. Remember she said you owe me $10. I did. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Um, just, yeah, general, general stuff, ink, a few uh, PSP games, some old Harry Potter trading cards. I thought that was pretty cool. Not bad. Actually, 2001 as well. Two dollar Ken Duncan, and then last this but is, not least, this is your goal. This is the this is your entry into the. Uh, this is what you're putting up against my top item, eh? Yeah, so this is a LCD monitor, brand new in the box, and even like we've even opened it up and had a good look. You can still see it's got the. Still Thank sealed. Yep. Yeah. You can get about four hundred bucks for that, you reckon? I don't know, man. Like the the lady at the the shop goes, "Oh, make me an offer." And I said, oh, "I'll have to think about it." And she comes straight back and said, "I'll make you an offer, thirty bucks." Mm. So, no problem. So I'm going to show you my haul. I'm going to go back to headquarters uh, and uh, show you everything in my shed uh, with a little bit of detail. Um, cheers for joining us again, uh, Frankie, and we'll continue this journey on our next video uh, for a um, another down south trip, but let's go to the shed. So we'll start off with the bread and butter stuff, a couple of books, a few DVDs. Uh, there's a few DVDs that we're going to lot up for future lots, so there's nothing to... Uh, Really uh, add to the kitty on that one. Look at this one. This is sealed plain dead. It's like uh, 
uh, zombies on a plane. <laughs> I actually want to watch it, but it's sealed, so I'm not going to watch that. Uh, a couple of Stephen King books should go for $10 each. The Star Wars cookbook should go for about uh, $10 as well. So, not including the DVDs, I spent five bucks on all this stuff here. So, with the uh, with the bread and butter stuff here, we should put 30 bucks into the kitty. Oh, and I can't forget the VB glass. That was 50 cents, but uh, I'm keeping that. This was one dollar. This is uh, 12 kids Scooby-Doo reading books in there. Not bad at all. Uh, we can turn this one dollar into 25 bucks uh, and they'll pay for their own postage and uh, handling and some have sold for this uh, and some have sold for more. So this is a pretty cool little uh, Schooltastic. Schooltastic. Wish I had these for reading at school. Let's open it. The first book is Ding Dong Pizza. Ding Dong Pizza. It's so 25 bucks there. Maybe 20, but 25 bucks. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass vibe. This was $2. The box is a bit damaged, but it's still brand new. Um, 2011, this is a uh, remote control car, well kind of a remote control car, F-150, Ford, it's got forward, reverse, all that mumbo jumbo crap, anyway this was two bucks, cost me two bucks, uh, I can score 30 bucks for this plus they'll pay for their postage and handling, uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to post and um, still pretty dusty, but um, that's pretty fucking cool, some kid's going to like that and they've got their own little mini control for it and all that, so, um, some kid will enjoy that, two dollars into thirty bucks. I'm, I'll try for fifty, but I'm expecting thirty. Uh, I found this Milton Bradley game of knowledge. Can't find this one on any comps, this version. The big board game of uh, game of knowledge is on there, and that's sold for like fifty between 30 and 50 so I'm gathering this smaller one should only fetch me 20 bucks I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it higher but I'm gonna be generous to the kitty well not generous to the kitty I'm gonna be an asshole to the kitty and only put 20 bucks in there because uh, this will sell uh, but I do want it to flip quick so um, they'll pay for their own postage game of knowledge 20 bucks Milton Bradley stuff does good should go for 30 40 but uh, we'll say 20 Uh, this one drought uh, beanie, I love beer beanies. They always sell. This is easy, twenty-five dollars right there. Twenty-five dollars from two bucks. Um, needs a wash. Oh, definitely needs a wash. Um, uh, two bucks into twenty-five. I'll decide if I want to keep this or not. I might keep this, but uh, we're still gonna put twenty-five bucks in the kitty for now. Got this nice Hawthorne jacket. This Hawthorne jacket this is a nice raincoat. Big, big jacket there. Hawthorns. It's a more of a modern one. More of a modern one. It smells a bit funky as well. Uh, anyway, I picked this one up for $4. We should be able to get 40 to 50 bucks for this. I reckon 50 bucks. Someone will pay 50 bucks pretty easy for this. Uh, Hawthorne jacket. Not bad jacket at all. It really feels warm. It's an official AFL one. You know the Hawks. We picked up seven Thomas the Tank Engine DVDs. Uh, season two, season eight, season one, season five, season three, season one again, and season four. Um, the whole lot. 20 or 20 plus episodes on here. Whoa. Uh, this should go for at least forty to fifty dollars. I paid uh, two dollars for all these. I haven't checked the discs yet, so fingers crossed they're not uh, any bad. But um, you lot these up, these will go for definitely forty, forty, fifty dollars. I'm going to put forty dollars in the kitty and, and not be greedy. Uh, but um, I am going to try for fifty, sixty. Uh, 
uh, 50 cents for Star Wars The Republic Commando Xbox game. Uh, if you have sold for $25, $30, I'm just going to put $20 in the kitty for this because I'm going to try and do a flip, quick flip and uh, get $20 for this one, get it in and out straight away. So $20 in the kitty for this one. Uh, and this one, I'll change the cover because it's got a ripped cover, but uh, TY2 Tasmanian Tiger Bush Rescue. Never seen it, never heard of it before, so took a risk, and that's what you gotta do sometimes. Looks really cool. Um, is it a wanted game? I don't know. Um, two happy gamers, uh, game on couple. Craig will be able to let me know, but from the information I got, uh, looking online at the comps, we're looking at about 25 bucks for this one, so 25 bucks quick flip. Happy with that one from 50 cents. That was a good find. That looks cool. And last but not least, I had to put this in the bag because uh, it fucking stinks like mothballs. And that first place we went to stunk like mothballs. So this is the um, Mambo Goddess jacket. Smells like absolute mothballs, it's disgusting. This needs a wash. I'm putting this away very quickly because it fucking does really smell. Can anyone let me know in the comments? Oh man, it needs to be washed. So that smelled like mothballs, um, smelled like an old, fuck, it smelled like an old person's house with mothballs added and then just shit. Anyway, that will get a wash, that will get nice and clean and smell good. I don't know what to put in the kitty for that one, so at this stage, I can't find anything on comps for a Mambo Goddess jacket. Cost me $2 for that one, it's a size 10, denim. Uh, so I'm gonna just put $30 to $40 in the kitty for that one. We'll say $40 in the kitty for that one. Surely 40 bucks, I don't know if it's old or whatever, I can't find too much on it. Let me know in the comments what you think about that one um, and what you would price that as after it's cleaned. For the Dunsborough trip, uh, straight away I'll tell you, Frankie gets the point on that one. We've got gentlemen's agreement now to see who wins each time we do a thrift together when we do the come thrift with me. So Frankie gets the point on this episode together. If you think differently that I should have got the point or if it should have been a draw, let me know down in the comments. But uh, I think Frankie definitely took this one uh, personally myself as well. But let's still see what we're gonna get. I spent only $15 in Dunsborough, only $15 from a three hour drive. A three hour drive, I spent $15 Bring up the kitty. Come on, baby. All right, kitty. I spent $15, got me four fees for four taxes. Let's not take out the petrol money that I spent to drive three hours to get down there. Kitty, how much are we gonna make once it all sells? Once it all sells, nothing's guaranteed to sell. Once it all sells, kitty. $275, kitty. $275 bucks before fees, before taxes, before all that mumbo jumbo bullshit. That's pretty sweet. Kitty, fuck off. You let Frankie win this round. Fuck off, Kitty. Kitty was all about fucking Frank this time, purring up and down him. All right, guys, thanks heaps. Now, just remember I'm a part-time, I'm a part-time thrifter. I work full-time, so I only get small amounts. And I only go do one or two thrift shops each weekend, maybe one, maybe two. And uh, whatever we can get, 
and I'm no expert, no one's an expert, I don't care if they say they're an expert, because if someone was an expert, guess what? Their store would have zero items in it. Zero items if they were an expert. No one's an expert. Why would they have zero items if they were an expert? Because as soon as they list something, it would fucking sell. It would fucking sell as soon as it listed. So no one sells every single thing. You're gonna have stock sitting in your store. We can only go buy comps. That's why we roll, that's why we play the game by. No one's an expert. But we can give opinions. But you know what opinions are like. Thanks guys, you got this far. Thumbs up, subscribe, bell icon. Let's do it all again. See you next trip. Soon.